Hey everyone, ChatGPT is really good for generating mock data sets. You can see how easy it is, and in the background this is going to run, and I'm not going to use this, but I'm just showing you while I talk. And essentially what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create a survey data set as if a bunch of respondents completed it. Secondly, we're going to create a transcript of a qualitative interview between the researcher and a patient. And I'll even show you a hack I use if ChatGPT decides to stop in the middle of giving you data. So let's get started. Alright, let's get some survey data. We're going to use the PHQ-9 here as our example, and this is a depression severity survey measure. Might have used it before. And here's my statement. I'm telling ChatGPT I want 28 responses to the PHQ-9. These are what my responses will be. These are the labels for context. I want a unique respondent identifier. Super important, and you'll see why. I want to sum the total of the nine questions. I want to be able to put this into a table so I can import it into Excel easily. You don't have to do any text wrangling or anything like that. I want IDs 1 through 14 to be an intervention group, IDs 15 through 28 in the control group, and I want the intervention group to have lower overall depression compared to the control group. Let's put this in. Let's see what happens. I'm going to speed this up because it's going to take a second. And this is why you want that ID right there. Super important. So now all you have to do is say, give me the responses for IDs 15 through 28. All right, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this right here into Excel. And we'll add the other part when it's done. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to... Do it like this, paste it in there. All right, we got those. Now let's see how this is doing. Looks like it's just about done. There we go, perfect. I like to just copy that top part there just to make sure it lines up. Probably will, but. Okay, you're probably wondering why I have this right here and this right here. I just like to make one row overlap just to make sure I'm not missing any data. So assuming everything looks good, I'm going to get rid of these column names right here because I already have those up here. And so I'm just going to highlight these two rows. I'm going to hit delete and there we go. We got our data set. Bam. All right, let's get some qualitative data now. So I'm telling it that I want a mock interview transcript between one researcher and one patient respondent. This is the topic. So seeing a chat bot instead of their doctor when there's a long wait. I want each line of the transcript to have a number so I can refer to it easily. And I want the total interview to be 40 lines of text. Now again, if it cuts off, you can use those numbers on each line to have it finish it. So let's try it. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to wait. So this is why you want those numbers. You can just say, give me line 22 to the end. All right, there we go. That's the end of our interview. So let's get a Word document open. And now we can just copy and paste all this in there. Some transcripts do use numbers in them. You don't have to, I suppose. Or you can use Word's way of adding numbers. Um, I'm going to just go like this, just so I know that everything worked. So I right clicked and pasted. I'll do it again. And let's see, we'll go to 40. Let's go. Just got to get rid of this last one. All right, I'm just going to highlight this and then paste so I get lines 22 to 40. So it looked like everything went well there. And there we go, we got our 40 lines of an interview right there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please watch some of the other ones. Look out for a new one next week and take care everyone.